Welcome back to Beat the Basket. This week, we have another very special guest host, and it is yours truly, Miss McAuliffe. What's up, Masco? Well, welcome, Miss McAuliffe. This week, we have a very important segment, a much requested segment on state bombs. So we have two identical state bomb orders here. I'm not good with the math. Can you inform me which one is longer? Thanks for asking, Mr. Kelson. If we put them flush this mm. way, it's obvious that this one has a higher length. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, let's get right into round one. Appearance. We have unwrapped the two identical orders. Tell me what you see. What are your first impressions? Let's start with the one on the left. First off, I thought it was a unique approach where they wrapped each half individually, mm. which makes it easy to share, for example. Shows consideration. Consideration and respect for the product. I agree. On the other hand, I noticed this one isn't even cut in half. Do they expect a single individual to just take this entire thing? So I see a little divot here, but that's a bold statement saying like, I deserve more than you. Interesting. Mm. Interesting. Personally, looking at the two, this one looks juicier and more cheesier it just looks more appealing this one it looks again a little dry to me um and it looks like it what it wasn't fresh it's not properly made if you ask me guess that all right awesome now that we looked at appearance let's dig into taste so let's start with the one on the left all right remember to savor the flavor all right, Ms. McCulloch, what are, you, what are your thoughts on that first steak and cheese? Yeah, the first thing I thought was this is a well put together steak and cheese. Everything is integrated really well. Mm. Um, I can't tell what's going on where, but the cheese is very well pronounced. I can taste it, I can see it, and I really like that in the sub. I agree. To me, the most important part of a steak and cheese is the cheese. There's no steak and cheese without it. And it was dispersed evenly throughout, which I love. All right, well, now let's try uh, the second one. Enjoy. All right, what did you think of this one? Thank you for asking. I, I I feel like the overall taste is very comparable. This is more separated where I can I can distinguish between the tastes and the flavors. So that, that works for some people. For me, I kind of prefer the integration of everything in, in one bite, you know? Mm. Mm. I, I agree. Like if I had a blindfold on, I don't think I could taste like the difference between the two. Um, but again, it comes back to the cheese. I feel like this was a little drier. You didn't get that pump of cheese. Mm -hmm. All right. So while I think the rolls are comparable, I'm still a believer that one is soggier than the other. I think this one, look at that bottom. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's soggy. I, I respect you as a human, but I could make the same argument about this one. I think depending on your vantage point, it's going to be soggy one way or another. I mean, it's okay to be wrong, but this is dry. You're right. You can be wrong. I think I could also take a piece of this roll and say this spot right here is dry. So mm. I don't I don't want to ruin the analysis because we're going to have this silly quabble. We can agree to disagree on that one, but let's move on. I'd just like to add that the length that we previously talked about was a little misleading, which I feel slightly lied to. The packaging made it seem like one of them was substantially longer, but it isn't. They're the same size. Do you think it was your fault as the math expert? No, my mathematics was not wrong. Okay. So as always with Beat the Basket, we have to go into price. I mean, it's a tough market out there. Literally. Literally. So we have on the left. Pre-tax, $6.99. No. I know. Blew my mind. Yeah. On the right? Yeah. Same. Thirteen fifty. Let that sink in. I can't. Thirteen fifty. So all things considered, which one are you going for? Now that I know the price, especially, I chose this one over taste and I choose that one with that price considered, it's an easy option. I'd have to agree with you. And for the second time, besides your amazing sense of fashion, we agree. I didn't even notice that. Hey! <laughs> well, there you have it, folks. Once again, this Tri-Town Institution did not beat the basket. Have a good day.